Hello, my name is Oscar and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of a content creation software called Doodly. Apparently, it helps to make whiteboard videos and this is particularly useful for people who want to create videos or walkthroughs and they don't have the means to actually create live action videos. This software says it can help you create easy to understand videos and animations using the whiteboard pattern. So, let's get started. I'm going to open Doodly software. It has a dedicated standalone. It seems to work with a cloud server, which means that most of the assets which are going to be used are actually stored on their servers, not on your computer. So when you get open up, you you greet it with a welcome screen which says create new video, my project. You can also create new folders. To get started, I'm just going to click uh, create new video whiteboard. Let's call this tests. And we're going to leave the settings, or let's put the settings to 1080p. And we're going to create that. And so, once it's open, all I see is a blank screen, and there's different tabs here which are loading up. We're going to let that load. Okay, it's time to load up. So I'm going to turn up. It's it's got a doodly rainbow here. So basically, what the doodly rainbow does when it's on, it adds color to what you have here. That's these assets here. So if I turn it off, you see that it's simply in the sketch pattern. I'm going to leave it off just for this video. So to get started, it's quite easy. I don't know why this is taking so long, but we'll let that load. And while that is loading, I'll show you. It has various characters. And what seems to be good about this is that it is drag and drop. So let's say we wanted to create a scene by ourselves from scratch. Since this is taking a bit to load up, I wanted to create a scene from scratch. Uh, and let's say a doctor's office. So we can simply just type here in the search bar doctor and it will load up all the doctor characters which it has and then we have to go through it. So the scenes are loaded up now. If you wanted to create a scene, let's say a doctor's office, basically what we'd have to look for is something that looks as close as possible to a doctor's office. You might have a doctor's office here already, but in case you don't have a doctor's office here, you can always edit. So I'm going to scroll down. This looks good, but it's not. Let's see if we can find something that looks closer to a doctor's office, and then we can take it from there. I think this looks this looks like something. Well, it looks like a, a reception of a hospital. So all you need to do is to drag and drop this. And once you drag and drop that, it's going to add it to the video is so now once you drag and drop that it's loading and as you can see if you move your mouse you can edit each individual item so if you do not like this chair here it's too close to the table you can move the chair a little bit and to the corner so there's some space and you can now you can also drag the flower pots closer to it it's as easy as that and also you can turn on the do okay no need for that and so if we wanted to make this a doctor's office let's edit this so to show you how easy it is to edit scenes what we're going to do this table looks more like a receptionist table so we're going to change this table let's see how to do that so we're going to go into car props and type table this is going to take a while but so you can see we have different types of tables here uh let's see which one would make sense for us to use i think we could use this this looks good or this i'm going to take this i think one of the easiest way to actually replace a uh, asset is to replace it so when i drag this over the table it's going to ask me are you going to replace the image and if i click yes replace it's going to replace what i had earlier with this so as you can see the orientation is not it's not that good it has the orientation doesn't look it doesn't look symmetrical so i'm going to take that off and choose something that works a little bit better than that and i think this table would work well okay that seems to work better so i'm going to scale it and now on the table i'm going to scale it yes I think that looks that looks 
much much better I can move it, make it a little bit smaller okay so uh that's a table done and you see it's as easy as that and it looks it looks in place so to change that to make this more realistic what i'm going to do i'm going to look for a doctor under our characters this looks like just a lady sitting let's look for some a doctor something to make it more believable and so we need a doctor who's sitting or actually we can leave the lady here and just add the doctor who comes out and here we are I think Baco Doctor, this one works, so I'm going to a Dominant Doctor, which do we use? Let's go for Baco Doctor, I'm going to drag him into the scene here and add him instead of replacing, so let's see how it works. So here's the Doctor, and then I can make him... So, you see, the Doctor's here and automatically this is starting to look like a scene that could be a hospital so like a waiting room for a hospital another way to make this even more realistic in my opinion so if you wanted to preview what you've done there is under the action tab here, here on the right you can click the preview button and basically it's going to draw out the assets one at a time and most times you wouldn't probably want the animation to be this long and jarring having to draw out each character at a time so i'm going to show you how i learned how to use this in order to make it better so the delay is how long the assets would delay before being drawn and the duration is how long it's going to take to draw it so what we could do is we could have the main background already appeared and then the only things that will get drawn is the doctor and the patient so let's do that so i'm going to reduce the duration of all this to zero i think i have to do it with this that seems to be the problem so zero bring it down zero so i want it to already be there when the scene gets introduced the lady i'm going to leave the lady the reception is now i'm going to get her drawn leave her there so i want her there when the scene starts for the clock same thing when the scene starts i want it there for Okay, so the lady, I'm going to leave the lady as is, the table, I'll leave it as is because I want it in the scene. And then for the doctor, the delay is 4 seconds and the duration. So let's save that and try one more time and see if this works. Okay, so preview. Yes, that's works. So the scene gets introduced automatically and you can see... It still needs a bit of tweaking, but I hope you get the idea. The idea is you can actually delay certain items in order to make the scene seem more dynamic. So let's try to get that. So uh, the duration, I'm going to leave this. I wonder why the table took a while to get in. Okay. So it seems the items here work in a kind of a layer format. It works like layers. So I think the best thing we're going to do here is I'm going to drag this table up. We're still getting to learn about the software, but it's pretty intuitive and I was, it was quite easy for me to figure out that. So let me save that and see if my theory works. It's saving. It takes a while to save. That's could be a problem for someone who's used to working offline. Okay, yes, that works. So we have the lady introduced, and a second later, then we have the doctor gets introduced. So to create another scene, if I wanted to do it, I think, okay, let's just make this perfect. So I think I'm going to delay the doctor for one second and save it because it took too long to get introduced there. 
and when it's saved we're going to preview it so preview as you can see the lady gets introduced one second delay and the doctor gets introduced and there you have it that's a hospital waiting room the next thing after this would be to introduce the scene where the patient is in the medical room that's the doctor's personal office it's easy to do that i'm not going to go into deep details on how to do that but i'm just going to show you how to create a new scene so you can now create what you want to see on screen so there's a plus down here on the timeline you can easily click add new scene and you see there's a black template now and you can go to the scenes look for a doctor's office if the doctor's office is not there then you have to make it on your own so basically go in there use a doctor get a table so this could be the doctor's office any doctor i'm going to drag this in i'm not going to do it fully but just drag it in so you have an idea okay perfect i found a perfect one so female doctor sitting and talking to patient so we can use this and i'm just going to make this a lot more bigger to feel the scale so this looks about looks about right but what i would like to do is to if there's a way to take okay i can't uh -huh. there you go the male doctor i think that works well so instead of this and there you go so it's you can really you can really create anything you wanted to create like there's so many characters here which you could use not just doctors you know, drivers police there's so many things which can as a bus driver if you want law enforcement this type of police and you would see them and the ones which they don't have they have a marketplace which you can see up here which would allow you to buy more items as needed but i'm not going to go into that because i use the enterprise so i have most of what's needed you see the police here and what this basically allows you to do you can have a script or voiceover and you can create a video just of that voiceover by creating scenes which would match the voiceover and this is this is a game changer for people who have no knowledge about creating live action videos this would help make your content creation and explainer videos much more easier this is very very recommended for explaining videos i've always wanted to get my hand on this tool and i'm glad i got my hands on doodly and i'm still going to give a more in-depth review of this software but this is just my first glance at it and show you it's 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 a content creator's dream so they also have the sounds tab here and what the sounds tab does is after creating your scenes you can choose a perfect soundtrack which would accompany what you have created so i know these are all royalty free you can add your personal music obviously from your file by clicking the plus and drag browsing to where your files is and to get uploaded and you can also add text you have text here and that's it and when you're done it's simply as easy as clicking exports choosing the file format which you want and making sure the settings are right and once you're done with that you click continue and it's going to export that for you so i'm going to cancel that because i'm not done with my scene but that was just me trying to show you how to use this amazing software called doodly and i'm sure you're going to see me using a lot more of this in the near future i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it then click the link below to go get yours and i'll see you next time thank you